Hey y'all and welcome back to Grasshopper's Kitchen and tonight from Blue Apron we are going to be uh, making an attempt to have roasted spaghetti squash with marinara sauce and black um, olives. <laughs> I can't, I, I could pronounce it earlier, now I can't. But anyway, um, despite all that, let's just go through the um, ingredients. So we have a can of of Cento Petite Diced Tomatoes. There are um, cremini mushrooms, three very nice looking ones. Some oregano, garlic, yellow onion. There is our uh, spaghetti squash here. And then in the knickknacks bag we had grated Parmesan cheese, black serignola olives, and butter. And then we also have my Bella Familia Greek olive oil, um, the unpronounceable Italian name Blue Persian Salt, and the Alisi Whole Mixed Peppercorns. So, and we've got the uh, pan already lined with parchment paper here to roast the um, spaghetti squash in the oven. So now I'm going to prepare all, all of these ingredients. Okay, so progress report. We have um, mushrooms that have been, um, I guess, medium diced. The onion has been small diced. Four cloves of garlic are ready to be squished. Uh, and over here we have the um, oregano, which has been taken off the stems and roughly chopped. And here's the olives, which have been smashed, deseeded, and roughly chopped. And here, <clears throat> excuse me, I still got that throat thing from Illinois. Here's the um, spaghetti squ squash, and um, obviously cut in half was seasoned on the um, cut side, was drizzled with olive oil, seasoned with salt and pepper, and then the top half of the round sides, whatever, the uncut sides are just kind of drizzled with olive oil. And then they said to put this water in there, and now that's going to go in the oven. Um, and this is going to be kind of perplexing because I'm pretty sure that the um, top half of my the hat, top burner of my dilapidated old stove is um, the oven is no longer working because I've had that heating up there for quite some time and it hasn't gotten past 400. So there might need to be some time adjustment here, but the instructions say to do it 28 to 32 minutes. So I'm gonna I'll start with 30 and see what happens, and in the meantime we start making the sauce, or as my family calls it the sugu. Okay, so the um, onions are nice and soft. The mushrooms are looking pretty soft and the garlic is not burned. So the next step is to add the tomatoes. Let's see if we can do this without a causing a huge mess and oops and steaming up the camera again. Okay, so we have added that. We're going to check for seasoning. And then that's going to cook for, I think it said like 10 to 12 minutes. And then I think we add the oregano. So, off we go. So this is kind of unusual. We're just kind of like in a waiting period for things to cook. Um, the spaghetti squash, the first 30 minutes is up in probably about 6 minutes from now. And... Um, I don't think that this is going to probably thicken up much more than this unless I want it to burn. Um, so I think we'll be turning that off and adding the oregano in another minute or so. And I'll check on the spaghetti squash. So the um, sauce is thickened up and it looks pretty good and it's just kind of sitting over here waiting to be eaten. And the spaghetti squash is done. I did scoop the seeds out and um, I'm going to try to clean them up and see about um, maybe tossing them in some olive oil, salt and pepper and uh, throwing them back in the oven and crisping them up a little bit. They should be pretty good but now I'm going to make an attempt to get 
get the uh, cooked squash out of the shell and into a frying pan. And that was, um, I'm not sure if that was harder than I thought it was going to be or maybe not as hard, but um, I didn't wait for it to cool down. I'm too hungry at this point, so I just kind of ripped them out of there and um, shredded it up. And now we are to the next point, which is um, we've got the butter in a pan with three tablespoons of water and that is melting um, at medium heat and then what we're going to do is when it's when it's melted together we're going to throw in the spaghetti squash strands and season with salt and pepper and then we're going to cook for two to four minutes or until the water is evaporated and we're going to add half the cheese, cook for 30 seconds to one minute, and then it will be time to plate. So let's see, my goodness, my uh, stove's gotten really dirty. Okay, so the water's evaporated and I just put in half of the cheese and we're trying to mix that up. Um, it's going to melt through, oh it smells absolutely yummy. Um, butter and Parmesan cheese, what, can, what could be wrong with that? Um, so another thing I really am enjoying about this recipe tonight is that not everything was done at the same time, so I actually managed to get everything cleaned up. Hello! When was the last time I ever saw that? I can't remember. So this is basically done and just needs to be plated now. Okay, so there you have it. Um, the roasted spaghetti squash with, um, I guess it's a mushroom marinara, those olives cheese and some more oregano on the top and I'm going to be having that with the last of this uh, Marcus James cab um, and then an oh which I bought at Oaks Farms for can you see that $3.99 um, and I guess um, you know what I did taste it already this is so delicious I love spaghetti squash I will be definitely doing this over again at some point so I'm going to say, um, from Grasshopper's Kitchen, I'm going to say ciao for now, and uh, until next time, bye-bye.